Yo, what's going on guys? This is Shadow Dragon here. We are back with Doki Doki Fruits of the Literature Club. Um, yeah, yesterday we spent the day with Monica. And we actually got some preparation for the festival starting. So yeah, we're walking back home again. Why do I have hiccups? <laughs> I feel something different this time. Sayori is much more quiet than normal. Sayori, why are you so quiet? What do you mean? Well, normally I've been talking about something I'd normally tune out. But ever since you left the club early, you've been very silent. I don't mind silence, but it's if it's from you, it's creepy. Well, I guess it's because of the one thing you said back there. Huh? You said that you weren't important. But you are. What are you saying? Shadow, everyone is important. And I'm sure you are not an exception. I don't know why you're so hell-bent on this fixation. Didn't your mum ever tell you this? My mum? I never met her, so I don't know her. Uh, oh, I'm sorry for bringing it up. Woman, what is with that sad face? I don't care. Everyone needs a mum figure. Well, I guess there was one woman. She took me in a, a while I was young and cared for me. Oh, so she was like your mum? I wouldn't really call her a mum type of woman. She was my guardian for sure. Oh, so she was kind of your mum then. I guess you could say that. We're home. Yeah. Listen, Shadow. I know you don't want to join the Literature Club, but I just want to say thank you. Huh? It's made me really happy. I know you haven't made that many friends at school yet. But I guess I'm just saying I appreciate you staying after school for me. Sayori. Honestly, I kind of enjoyed my time at the club. Huh? Wipe that look off your face. I guess it's just my silly way of saying, Ah, oh, let's do it. I'm going to join the Literature Club. Wait, for real? Yes, but there's no need to get excited as you are. I'm so happy, Shadow. Sayori hops up and wraps her arms around me. Get off of me! <laughs> I move her arms around my torso. Listen, if you're going to make an assault such as that on me, I need a damn warning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Sayori turns and stops, starts to skip to her house. Bye, Shadow. Yeah, yeah. I watch her leave. Did I just make a mistake? I guess we'll see. I crack a smile and begin to walk home. Smile, it lasts more than four seconds before my phone rings. Already? They said it wouldn't be as often. Sayori's bedroom. Yeah, he said he would join. That's great, I'm relieved. Monica. Oh, that's it. Monica's voice emanates from Sayori's loudspeaker. She's been talking to Monica for a few minutes as she puts away laundry. We finally have our fifth member. We can be an official school club. <laughs> That's right. Siri one by one puts her garments away into a dresser. I should really clean up my room. Is it still messy? Yeah. I don't really clean it that often. Well, what if Shadow came over and saw that? What do you mean by that? Well, he wouldn't he wouldn't see your room all dirty, silly. Why would he be in my room? <laughs> Siri takes a second to decide what Monica meant. Ah! E Monica! <laughs> Siri's racks calls Monica to giggle. That is gross. All right, all right, I'm sorry. I step out onto the back patio at least in my backyard. The silence outside makes it so much easier to think. I sit down on a lawn chair and leave my head back so I can look into the stars. God. The exasperated sigh lately he re somewhat relieves my frustration. Lately, the company has been calling me in more and more. Not even for my intended purpose. For odd jobs here and there. Go get this. Go deliver that. Just shut up already. I really wish I could say that. I wasn't trained for office work. To top it off, when I was permitted to come here, I was told it was going to be a reserve. To be only used when absolutely necessary. If you were here, you would correct this frivolous behavior. But you're not, and I am on my own. Would you have been proud of me for what I did? I looked that softened ex ex executivity's face. Why am I being called? What is your intern too scared to look you in the eye? Such insolent behavior from the look on his face when I stepped closer to making smirk. I wasn't trained to do your intern's job. I'm not your toy. Do not treat me and use me as such. Normally I would have been apprehended or off for correction. But I think the executive understood that he was out of line. Because I was assigned to another person. Huh? Unfortunately, I'm never going to escape the underlying concern in the back of my mind, no matter what. It's something I'll never be able to run from. Something catches my eye to the left. It's Sayori's house. Her bedroom light is on and she seems to be changing clothes. That isn't what caught my attention. I hear something in the bushes nearby. The rhythmic sound of silent footsteps. What? I remain low to the ground, silently moving towards the front of my house. Could it be? 
No, it can't be. I'll close my eyes and wait for the sound again. Got ya! I skulk around the bushes that lead alongside the sidewalk, running out of the street lamps at other miscellaneous lights. I peer around a corner and notice a boy around my age trying to peer up to Sawyer's windows. What? I get behind him, grab him by the back of his shirt, claw and pull him down. Ugh! the hell is he? What's your problem? He tries to get up with the ground by placing my foot on his chest and hold him down. Mine, what do you think you're doing looking to a girl's bedroom like that? Look down here and meet his eyes. Mind your own business. I reach down and pick him up by his collar once more. I'm making it my business. He pushes me back. Well, it's happens to, but I predicted this. As soon as his hand made contact with my chest, I wrap one hand around his left arm. My right arm reaches around his right. I bring my left arm inwards, pulling him closer. Due to his tall body type, he is forced to hunch over towards me. Give me the perfect opportunity. I shove his right arm down, bringing his neck closer. Take this chance, my right elbow strikes him in the throat. <coughs> I let him stagger back, his eyes in a pen of confusion. I step closer, forcing him to move further away. Do you want to continue? Or will you leave? Your eyes. What's with your eyes? I take another step closer. <coughs> he coughs, struggles to breathe. He reaches out to lunge at me. I swing my left leg in a clockwise motion, orienting it so I can make contact with his ribcage. <coughs> he collapses onto his knees and looks up at me. I grab by his hair and force his attention. I said leave. If I ever see you here again, I will not hesitate as I am now. Who are you? I wrap one of my hands around his throat. Do you understand? He nods. I put him backward where he gets back onto his feet clumsily and runs off. I watch him flee like a dog with their tail between their legs. So your window opens. I get as close to the wall as possible, concealing myself from her view. To be caught right now would not do me any good. Sayori looks around for a moment to close her window. <sighs> wow! We just beat the crap out of a pervert. That's amazing, though. Oh, that was really cool. I lie down in bed and stare at the ceiling. That boy, I've never seen him before. So he either doesn't attend our school or I've missed him. But why was he attempting to peep at Sayori like that? Doesn't matter anymore. That w what was what I did necessary? Well, damn right it was. I mean, I could have just let him peek at Sayori. Something inside me just feels absolute anger at what he did. Am I really growing to like these girls? <sighs> the club room. We're back at school. That was cool. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Uh, were you practicing piano again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you must have a lot of determination. Uh, sign this club and now pick up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Uh, I can't wait for the festival. It's going to be great. Uh, weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious foods. You said a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid. Uh, that's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon ni Mon Aka. Uh? That's not how you say my name at all. Well, so that joke makes no sense in translation. Ah, oh, never mind. Probably a Japanese thing. Ah, oh, let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as funny as Yori's or Sayori's anyway. Ah, uh, excuse me. Ah, uh, where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori's sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Oh, no! No, no, she's depressed again. Uh, you're spacing out again. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Well, you're a very social person all of a sudden today. You're not that at all. Even in class, Ellie, you didn't ask one question or socialize with anyone. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? I grab a chair from one of my desk sitting out next to her. What are you doing? What does it look like? What is wrong with you? Nothing, all right. I'm just tired. Were you up late again? Y yes, but this time it wasn't my fault. Huh? I heard some noises outside my room last night and it scared me. 
Oh, you did? Yep, I remember now. The fight I had last night. She looked out her window and didn't see anything. What does that look for? Huh? That look on your face, it's scary. Oh, sorry, I guess I was just in deep thought. Listen, Sarah, there's no need to be scared, but... But... I promise you there's nothing to worry about. Okay. You're such a good person, Shadow. <laughs> oh, if you say so. You doing better now? Well, with you protecting me, I do feel much better. Okay, hold on. I didn't say... Zero jumps up for a chair and skips towards other girls. Uh, Alright. So before we read our poems, we have a bit of free time. So feel free to do whatever. Each of the girls disperse around the room. Monica goes up towards the front with Sayori and begins to look at a piece of paper. Let's see who goes to the closet and emerges a minute later with one of her mangas. And Yuri sits down timidly at her desk looks for a few books. Honestly, I want to learn more about these girls. If I'm going to be in this club with them, that's the least I could do. Well, obviously, Sayori, I want to spend more time with. I guess I'll go with Sayori. She lives next to me and it's so far closer to me. It's so far closer to me than the rest of the girls. Plus, she isn't that bad to be around. I can't believe I'm saying that, though. Since Monica and Sayori are both together, I might as well join them. Oh, Shadow, hi. What are you two, two doing? Well, we are working on a new festival for the poster. What? <laughs> the what? The new festival for the poster? <laughs> I'm leaving that in. We are working on a new poster for the festival. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see. Siri holds it up for me to see. It's a colorful poster with some rather neat handwriting. It presents a pleasant message that intrigues the reader to check out the club for more information. To be honest, it isn't that bad. But must there be that many colors? Yeah, to draw the person in. If you say so. Did you want to help with something? Oh, well, I'm not really creative. Oh, I just came over to see what you girls were doing. Mainly to see what Sayori was doing. Oh. <laughs> well, Alright. Well, we are pretty much finished now. Alright. I walked next to Sayori, placed my hands on the desk. Hi, Shadow. Yo! So, about earlier. Yeah? I want to kind of prawn on that a little bit. What do you mean? When I said there was nothing to worry about. Yeah? Don't completely rely on me or anyone else to protect you. You should always keep a constant vigilance around you. Well, Shadow, you seem like you can handle yourself when things get difficult. And if you were there to defend us, we would appreciate it quite a lot. <laughs> I can't guarantee I'll always be around. What do you mean? Well, I mean exactly that, Sayori. Life can change and affect all of us. So I can never really guarantee I can be there. Oh, uh, you're so sweet, Shadow. Sweet wasn't what I was going for. I was merely explaining to her that my job can easily change things. You never know, one day I might be called off and never come back. I don't want Sayori to think of me as a crutch. Anyway, we have some free time for the poems. What do you suppose we do? I don't know. I think spending time with you is good enough. Huh? <laughs> Tell me about this festival. What do you plan to do for it? Oh, well, I'm planning on helping Monica make our club a great part of it. It's going to be so much fun. Looks like you do have a lot in mind for it, too. Each member reading a poem before the crowd. You know, you know what that means, right? No, educate me, please. That means you'll have to read a poem publicly, too. What? Yeah, remember you told me yesterday you would join the club? Yeah, I guess I did. God damn it, I guess I dug this hole for myself, then. I guess you're right. So, so you would do it? I never said that. <laughs> Why not? You're a club member. So you're in my type of conversation isn't the norm around here. I can barely express emotion or feeling. But I know you can do it. Writing poetry helps me with some of my problems. Can't it help you, too? Not with who I am. Never mind that. Uh, Sirius is suddenly apprehensive. A face conveys concern. I'm serious. Ignore what I just said. It's hard to ignore something from you. What? Sirius so stiffens as if she said something that she didn't intend to. I, I mean, it's hard for me to ignore pe things people say. Shadow, you are my friend. And if you ever need help, you can ask me, okay? Right. And the same goes for you, Sayori. What am I even saying? I guess I really am going to like these girls. Especially Sayori. Sayori hops up in joy and wraps her arms around me. Ah! Woman, I told you about this! You need to give me a fair warning. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot. <laughs> I rub my forehead. It's such a pain at times. <laughs> Sayori giggles at my comment. So, what do you plan on reading out loud to the club? The poem? Yeah. I don't even know yet. You basically just told me not to do that. And I'm not very happy to do this. I know you can do it, Shadow. I think I'll think about it tonight. Zero smile grows. What is she so happy about? 
You know, it wouldn't hurt if you smiled every once in a while. What? You always have this look on your face. It's it's scary. Damn, so you are insulting me for my looks? Thanks, Sayori. I didn't mean it that way. I know you didn't. I crack a smile and pat her on the shoulder. See, just like that. You have a great smile. You don't need to hide it. Whatever you say. You don't need to hide it, she says. It's not the fact that I'm deliberately hiding my smile. It's just I don't smile that much. Still, I remain with the fake smile since Izu Sayori. Something I've done for a very long time. Um, Shadow, are you okay? I look back into her eyes. You look like you're thinking pretty deeply all of a sudden. Oh, well, I guess I am. I really can't wait for the festival. And hopefully we can finally get some new members. <laughs> well, make sure you plan everything out correctly. Oh, I know what we can do. I raise an eyebrow. You can help me hang up these posters. Alright, yeah, I can help with that. Sarah walks out and Monica tells her I plans for the time being. I lean back on the desk and look at my watch. I anticipate every second. I have made it a habit following the beat of every second. It helps keep you focused even at the most stressful of times. Because how I look at it, time is both a boon. What the hell's a boon? A boon and a burden. At a time you reward the luxury of it, and still other times you're severely limited by the lack of it you could process. And having a little time and leeway to get something done can cause a lot of unnecessary stress. I've learned to counteract this by keeping the beat of each second so often. It helps you learn that each second is crucial and not to be wasted. But in a scenario like this, time isn't my enemy. Okay, ready to go? As ready as I was when you left. <laughs> so you're in our walk out of the club room towards a bulletin board a few classes down. Does this look like a good place for a poster? Well, this is rather popular part of the school, so I'd say so. Yeah. So you approached the green board, just several other flies and posters littering it. Posters for different clubs? Yeah. Since the festival's on Monday, a lot of other clubs and groups are trying to advertise. A band club, a modern art club, there's even a group advertised for social media and networking. That'd be the worst group. Screw a social media group, man. <laughs> there certainly are a lot of things students can do here after school. Yeah, but don't you get any ideas? You only just joined and everyone is starting to like you a whole lot. I'm not leaving the club, so you're a serious size and relief. She placed her hand on the poster, preemptively measuring how much space she needs for it. She places one hand on the middle of the colourful advertisement and holds it in place. Um, can you hand me that strip of tape, Shadow? Yeah. I take the roll of tape that I bore along with some measure out of fitting length and cut it. So you always takes a piece of tape and fixes one corner to the board. We repeat this a few more times before we finish. Now here we are. How does it look? It looks fine. We have a couple more to hang up. Come on. So Yuri grabs out at the sleeve of my uniform and pulls me along with her. We continue to hang up each of the posters before heading back to the club. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Each of the girls retrieve their poems. Siri holds her poem to her chest happily. She turns to face me, her face beaming. I stand up and walk over to her, grabbing a nearby chair and scooting it close. Alright, sorry, let me see what you've written down. Yay, I get to share my poem with you. I've been looking forward to it all day. <laughs> Don't get all excited. Yeah, I already read this one in the original game too. I look up to Sierra and blink my eyes a few times. This is a bit more symbolic and a little bit more solemn than your last one. <laughs> you think so? Monica's been giving me all kind of pointers for my poems. Well, it seems to be paying off. Sierra's poem is kind of dark. I can practice sense the subtext hidden in it. But I keep these thoughts in my head. Nevertheless, I liked it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shadow. That means a lot coming from you. Sierra hops down, up and down ecstatically. Okay, everyone, so as you all know, the festival's coming up, and I wanted to kind of let you know what I planned for each person to do. And each girl looks at Monica with a sense of confidence and determination. For almost a split second, I'm a taken back to my old class. All of some formation listen to our leader's speech and attempt for us to motivate. It makes me smile. Okay, so I want Sayori to prepare some flyers to help advertise the club during the festival. Yori, I would like for you to make some decorations and atmospheric enhancements to the room. Natsuki, since you're our master of baking, I'd like for you to make us some bonafide cupcakes. And I'll be managing as the guide of the club. What about me? Of course, I cannot forget about our most memorable person in the club. Wait, what? I would like for you to assist one of us in each of our activities. You, of course, can pick who to help. Alright, I guess I'll help Sayori. <laughs> straight, just straight goes for it. So he looks extremely happy at my decision. Well, I hope you enjoy working with her during the weekend. Yup. Oh no, is Monica less of a jerk at this mod? <laughs> like, I don't seem to have a problem with her so far. 
Girls start to pack up their things. Parents leave, I grab my bag and sling it over my shoulder. I walk up to Sayori. Alright, you ready to leave? Only if you are. Sayori seems much more giddy than normal. Presumably because I chose to help her this weekend, said the other girls. Please, after you. Why did we start sounding like a gentleman? Alright guys, I'm going to leave this one here. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.